Hello everybody, we are going to learn a new string. We are going to learn the notes on G string. So please look at page 26, number 93. Number 93 is just open G. So open G, no fingers. Now, we have a new key signature right here. One sharp. We've been used to seeing two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, and that is the key of D major. This one is just one sharp, F sharp, and it is called the key of G major. So if you look at number 93, you've got your clef sign and your, your key signature. There's only one sharp, F sharp. What is your time signature? 4-4. Four, four. All right, let's count our, our rhythm to number 93. Ready, go. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three. Back over here. Let's uh, say our note names. Ready, go. G, 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 G. Now for our viola player, there are, your uh, G string note is inside the staff. So it's, it's right at the bottom here. But for our violins, we have to do these things called ledger lines, which makes the staff go lower or even higher. So you have notes that are below the staff and above the staff. Um, so I want you to look at G. How many ledger lines do you see here? One, two. And then the note sits underneath the second ledger lined, ledger lined. Be careful that you know that, okay? Because whenever we get into these others, you have to uh, count how many ledger lines we have. Okay, now let's pizzicato number 93. Open G. Ready? One, two, ready, go. G, 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 G. shadow bow. So get your bow in your hand. I will play it and you will shadow bow it. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so for our cello player, whenever you make sure that your bow is in a straight line as you are rotating down the different string levels, okay? And make sure that your arm gets at the proper level to where you are not playing on other strings. Try not to raise your shoulder or you're gonna start hurting. Okay, lower the shoulder, push the arm out. Okay, all right, um, for our violins and viola, your arm is gonna have to go up. For our violins, it's going to be really high up. If you try and play this string with a chicken wing, you're not going to be able to use very much bow. You have to get that arm up so that you can use a lot of bow. All right, now I want you to get a proper bow hold in your hand, everybody. Make sure that you're covering the, the frog. All right, let's play our number 93. One, two, ready, go. Thank you. 